Late Sports presents University of Oregon football. This afternoon, the Fighting Ducks travel south to Tempe, Arizona for a Pac-10 game with the Arizona State Sun Devils. Today's University of Oregon football game is sponsored in part by Thriftway Supermarkets. Get a little respect at Thriftway. By Williams Bread. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner, bread's a winner, and nobody bakes it better than Williams. By Emporium, your friendly family department store, serving the Northwest for over 30 years. By your Portland area five-star Lincoln Mercury dealers, who invite you to test drive a new Mercury Sable soon. And by Bumper to Bumper, if we can't help you, nobody can. It is a beautiful day here at Tempe, Arizona, where the Oregon Ducks will take on the Arizona State Sun Devils. It is homecoming for Arizona State, and of course, the folks here hoping for a victory. The Ducks, on the other hand, hoping to end their three-game losing streak. Good evening, everyone. I'm Scott Lynn, and joining me tonight, Todd McKim. And Todd, this is going to be a very interesting game for a couple of reasons. Uh, both teams, hopefully, uh, were hoping for bowl picture earlier, but now they seem to be uh, just trying to get, the, get out of the losing streak. Of course, the Ducks, uh, three weeks ago, were thinking about the Rose Bowl. They played UCLA in a key contest, lost that ball game, and since then have dropped two more. So... They're basically out of a bowl consideration, especially the Rose Bowl. Arizona State, on the other hand, last week had a big contest against UCLA. If they had been able to defeat UCLA, they might have been able to go to the Rose Bowl again and defend their championship. They lost that contest to UCLA, so they're out of the Rose Bowl picture. But they're 5-3 and three overall, and with that 5-3 and three record, they still have a chance to go to another bowl game, and that's what they're playing for tonight. They feel if they can win their last three games, finish at 8-3, and three, they're going to get a bowl bid somewhere. Absolutely. Another reason this game's going to be interesting is because of the quarterback situation. We don't know who's going to be the quarterback. <laughs> Nobody knew at the beginning of the week for the Ducks or the Sun Devils. The Sun Devils have had some problems. They've rotated three different people at the quarterback position. The Ducks, out of necessity, Scott, have had to play three different quarterbacks throughout the course of this year. In fact, they played three in the course of one ball game last week. And so it'll be interesting tonight to see which one of the quarterbacks steps up, takes forward, and takes control of this football game. Bill Musgraves. Once you bought auto. Do is, uh, is give him a little bit more of an op option type football where uh, he has the ability to, to run with a football. And uh, obviously he'll be sprinting out a little bit more and, and uh, getting on the perimeter. Uh, he's not a true drop back quarterback. And, uh, by doing that, by letting them sprint out a little bit more, we can narrow the field down and not give them a lot of reads. Uh, basically look to one or two guys, and then if it's not there, have the ability to run. The Sun Devils have also scrambled at the quarterback position. Three different guys have been given a chance, but nobody has taken control. None of the three has completed 50% of his passes, and as a group, they have connected on nine touchdowns but have thrown 15 interceptions. Daniel Ford started six of the eight contests, and he will get the call tonight. Well, we've bounced around all season long at the quarterback position. Uh, we started Daniel Ford early in the season. We brought Paul Justin off the bench, and he didn't get the job done. We let Daniel play a couple more games. We started John Walker, and he didn't get the job done. So we're back to, to uh, square one. Because of that uh, situation at quarterback, I think we're going to see two conservative offensive uh, units here tonight. I would think so. I think uh, both coaches come into this contest feeling they don't want their quarterback to have to be the one to make the plays to win the football game, Scott, and especially for the Ducks. Tony Hargain has never played quarterback for the Ducks other than that brief stint in the fourth quarter last week. The offense has been greatly reduced so that he can run just some basic plays, and so it'll be a, a very close to the best kind of a game plan. All right, I asked Coach Rich Brooks exactly what kind of a quarterback Tony Hargain is. He says, I don't know, it'll be interesting. Yeah. We'll find out in just a minute. Kickoff is just ahead. We'll be back in Tempe in just a moment. <laughs> 